Please be seated. Welcome to the May 2016 College of Nursing commencement. I am Rita Franz, Dean of the College of Nursing. I want to extend an especially warm welcome to the family of our graduates. I know that the room is filled with mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, spouses, and many extended family members. We are so pleased to have you with us as we bear witness to this milestone of accomplishment of our graduates. We feel privileged and grateful to have been a part of your family member's life for these past few years. The entire university community shares in your pride and happiness on this very special day. Assisting me with these ceremonies today are our graduate marshal, A.B. Frecking, who led the processional. Members of our College of Nursing Administration seated on the platform and who will assist me in these ceremonies are Professor Ellen Cram, Associate Dean for Undergraduate and Pre-Licensure Programs in the College of Nursing, Professor Thad Wilson, Executive Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, also in our college and representing the University Central Administration who will be conferring the degrees. Vice President for Student Life the at the University of Iowa, Dr. Tom Rockland. I'd also like to acknowledge our uh, sign language interpreter, Amy Ruth McGraw, and our pianist, Jonathan Tauschek. Thank you for being here. <coughs> Excuse me. For the graduates, this day marks a milestone of achievement on their journey along the path of professional nursing. Today, you, the graduates, transition from student to professional nurse. Reflecting back on this journey, it began with a vision of being here today. All of this made me wonder, what memories do you take with you today? Perhaps the actual moment you receive your degree, or you turn the tassel on your mortarboard, or it's the hugs and joy and tears of those you love. Maybe you'll recall the texts that you are sending to one another today. Yes, I know that those will be happening. <laughs> Trying to hold on to those connections that are already beginning to loosen. This day might also stand in your mind as a point in which you moved from the safety of being a student depending on others to now having others depend on you for their lives and for their well-being. Each of us takes away something different from our graduation. What's common to all, however, is that graduation is the beginning of a wonderful, uncertain, and sometimes even frightening time in one's career. So, what might I share with you today that could potentially help you move forward into that career. Well, given that probably most of you won't actually remember what I say today, I've decided to share a story that I hope will shine a little light on the path ahead. This is a story of a long ago classmate of mine in our BSN program. So you know it was long ago. I'll call her Sherry. She was a bit of a class clown. She was also very smart and a major source of irritation to those who were doing their best to turn us into nurses. Sherry was a life force. She took everything on head on. If we had mobile phones back then, Sherry would have been the one texting wickedly irrelevant messages during our driest lectures. I really loved Sherry's spirit and her generosity. But like most of my classmates, I secretly wondered if she would ever actually graduate. <laughs> Sherry wasn't the greatest student in the world. 
and had challenged more than one faculty member along the way. But fortunately, she did graduate. I lost track of Sherry after graduation, and we've never reconnected. But several years later, I learned about the nurse that she had become. While glancing through a newspaper, I saw a picture of a figure huddled on a rock in the middle of a river. In the background was the rotter of a sunken life flight helicopter. The story was one all too common in the early days of medevac, the hope of saving a life sometimes ending in the loss of a patient and the helicopter crew. The precious cargo on this flight was a critically ill baby, and the nurse was pushy, funny Sherry. But somehow, she had become a courageous, remarkable, don't give up Sherry. Against all odds, she made her way out of that helicopter with the baby held close, swimming to that single rock that was sticking out of the water. When she finally got them onto that tiny perch, she held the baby close, doing all that she could to keep it warm until rescue workers arrived. Sherry saved that baby's life that day. She also left an indelible impression on me. More than once, her story has reminded me of the goodness and greatness that lie within all of us and the remarkable power of being of being there as a nurse. As you think about Sherry's story, I hope you realize that this is also a story about nurses who graduate from the University of Iowa. You see, Sherry was ready for what she faced, and so are you. She had the same strong character and commitment that you do. She also had the strong educational foundation that you, though you may not appreciate, actually have. You see, it's really not possible for you to know the power of your prepared mind and newly acquired knowledge and skills until you actually use them. But you will. And through this, you will touch the lives of so many others who need you in the same ways that Sherry and all nurses are needed. So given that you won't remember much of what I've said here today, I'll ask you only to remember three words. You are ready. Yes, you are ready. I congratulate you on your accomplishments and I welcome you to the profession of nursing. Now, there are many people here today who have made this day possible for you, the graduates. So please join me in recognizing the faculty representatives who, with their fellow professors, have charted your journey and guided you along the path to professional nursing. Faculty, would you please stand? Thank you. Out there in the audience, our parents and siblings, spouses and many extended family members and friends who have been a source of ongoing support and encouragement to these graduates. So graduates, please stand and face all these special people out here and join me in a round of applause for all those important people who have made this day possible for you.
Thank you. You can be seated. It's my special pleasure to introduce Audrey Bender. Audrey graduated from New Trier High School in Wilmot, Illinois in 2012. While pursuing her BSN degree, she has been named to the Dean's List six times, I'm very impressed, as well as the President's List in the spring of 2014. She has received multiple awards, including the University of Iowa National Scholars Award and the University Old Gold Scholarships each semester in her college career. As an honor student, she designed an independent study focused on the role of a sexual assault nurse examiner, a role she plans to prepare herself for following graduation. Her undergraduate program, during her undergraduate program, she was engaged in multiple volunteer activities, including weekly visits to hospice patients and volunteering at University of Iowa hospitals and clinics. She also participated in two international programs, a study abroad experience focused on pain and palliative care in Trivandrum, India, and a second as a volunteer on a medical mission trip to Greymouth, Haiti. Following graduation, Audrea will begin her practice as a registered nurse at University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics on the Labor and Delivery and Mother-Baby Care Unit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our BSN class speaker, Audrey Bender. Thank you, Dean Franz, for such a kind introduction. It is truly an honor to have been chosen to represent this exceptional graduating class. I cannot believe that I am standing on this stage today looking at the group of people who have won my heart and who have bonded together as a unique, hilarious, and incredibly talented cohort. I love you guys so much. Not only is this a day to celebrate our accomplishments, it is also a day to look back and appreciate those who have held our hands for the past four years and for the previous few decades of our lives as well. Thank you to everyone who is with us to celebrate our firsts, our first steps, our first days of school, and more recently, our first accurate blood pressure, our first successful blood draw, the first time we put on those coveted black scrubs, and the first time we walked out of the hospital feeling like we had made someone's day a little brighter. There was no better feeling than calling friends and family saying you had passed a performance exam or didn't have to redo a care plan. <laughs> Thank you to those who were also there to comfort us during our first tears, our first and second failed dosage calc exam. The first time I stands, plastic genitals fell off when we tried to place a catheter. <laughs> the first time we forgot to clamp an IV in skills class and ended up with fake blood all over the table. <laughs> or the first time we said, I don't know if I can do this. We would have never made it through nursing school without your unwavering support. Our family, friends, Mentors, professors, and staff at the College of Nursing truly held us together as we embarked on one of the most difficult things we've ever done. And we can't thank you enough. We would also like to thank you in advance for carrying us through the 48, 48 hours post NCLEX as we anxiously wait for our results. The very essence of nursing is caring for others and being an advocate for our patients. My past four years at the University of Iowa College of Nursing have proven that those qualities are exactly what this program stands for. During our time at Iowa, we have learned the importance of attention to detail, as Darlene taught us to be diligently watching our sterile field, and our med surge instructors reminded us to always double check the six rights of medication administration. This key nursing school is also apparent at the College of Nursing, where panicked emails to Linda are quickly responded to, degree audits are triple checked, and quality time was spent ensuring that each and every one of us understood the complicated process of applying for licensure. 
The faculty at this college believe in their students. They advocate for us, stand up for us, and push us to be better, just like supportive nurses do for their patients. We have learned to perform to the best of our abilities, even under the stress of multiple exams or multiple call lights. We have learned the necessity of critical thinking, and above all, how to calm patients who are frightened or in pain. The College of Nursing has stressed the importance of all of these qualities, but it has also embodied them, especially calming those who are frightened, because I think it's safe to say I've been frightened since August of 2012. <laughs> Furthermore, the individualized attention and support that we have all received from the College of Nursing is truly unique, and something I can say, unfortunately, many other students don't, do not experience at the University of Iowa. The fact that most of our professors practically have an open door policy for when you need a good cry speaks to the integrity of the staff and the fact that they would move heaven and earth to help in any way they can. I'd like to give a personal shout out to Linda Myers, who has seen tears welling up in my eyes as I walk in her door more times than I'd like to admit. What the heck would I and many others have done without you? I got this feeling from the moment I first walked in the doors of the University of Iowa College of Nursing as a junior in high school. My mom and I were under the impression that we would be part of a group tour of the building and maybe an informational session, but it somehow ended up being a one-on-one -on -one meeting in Linda's office. I was showered with kindness, enthusiasm, and given the confidence to believe that I would be a great addition to the BSN class of 2016. It was the day that I knew it was my dream to become an Iowa nurse. I know I will look back on these four years and remember the friendships. The hours spent together in the study rooms at the library, the lunches on the terrace, the secret Santa exchanges, and the cactus celebrations are what glued us together as a group. I think it's safe to say that we've all made lifelong friends here at Iowa, and we will take many of these friendships with us into the next stage of life. The love in this nursing cohort is strong. It is something we will all cherish for years to come. I loved showing up to a new clinical rotation and seeing the faces of people that I had never spent time with before. There is no greater bonding experience than hanging out at 6.30 a.m. and nervously preparing for a day filled with head-to-toe assessments, med passes, and bodily fluids. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how the future unfolds for each and every one of us. I can't wait to pass some of you in the halls of UIHC and hear all about the awesome work that you're doing. And may our nursing cohort Facebook page always stay strong. Please keep the memes and hilarious stories coming. Does everyone remember our first day of college? Sitting in these seats and becoming actual nurses seemed like decades away. But here we are. We did it. Those feelings of anxiety, anticipation, and fear of the unknown will soon hit us again when we begin our first jobs or start grad school, but know that we as a cohort are capable of anything. If we can survive cumulative pharmacology finals, myocardial infarction simulations, and the late night spent on prep packets, there's nothing we can't do. I know the University of Iowa College of Nursing has prepared us to be the best possible high caliber nurses we can be. We can all take pride in knowing that we have chosen a profession that makes a direct impact on humanity and improves the quality of life for patients and their families. Over the past several years, I have enjoyed taking care of an elderly gentleman. I have watched as he has progressed from an engaged man who greatly enjoyed telling me stories of his life to one who struggles with daily tasks and has lost so many memories. About a month ago, he said to me, Audrey, can I ask you a serious question? Where is my wife? I keep wondering why she hasn't joined us for dinner. Oh, I can't read. Um, <laughs> as I tenderly explained through my tears that his wife had passed away decades ago, it reminded me of how precious life is, how fleeting. It goes to show how truly lucky we are as nurses to be present with our patients in the most vulnerable times. It is an honor to take care of them to support them, to advocate for them, to help heal them, and to be their champions. So BSN class of 2016, let's get out there and change some lives. Go Hawks.
Thank you, Audrea. <clears throat> Among the graduates that we're recognizing today are those who completed their initial preparation in nursing at a community college and subsequently enrolled at the University of Iowa to pursue a bachelor's degree through a special program that's tailored to their unique learning needs. Courses are offered online over the internet and practicum experiences are coordinated by faculty located in regional centers across the state. For some of these graduates, this is only the second time that they've been on the University of Iowa campus. Speaking on behalf of the RNBSN graduates is Jesse Sorensen. Jesse graduated from Odebolt Arthur High School in Odebolt, Iowa, and I hope he tells us where that is, and earned his associate degree in nursing from Kirkwood Community College in 2014. While pursuing his BSN, he was the recipient of a University of Iowa College of Nursing scholarship. Jesse has continued to hold a full-time staff nurse position at University of Iowa hospitals and clinics in the surgical specialty unit while concurrently pursuing a bachelor's degree in nursing. One wonders how he's going to handle all this free time he will now have. <laughs> Jesse believes that a nurse, that as a nurse, you are reassured of the importance of your work on a daily basis through the appreciative words of your patients and through their daily progress towards recovery. Please join me in welcoming Jesse Sorensen. <clears throat> There's a lot of people here. <laughs> Thank you, Dean Franz. Uh, so, hi everyone. My name is Jesse Sorensen. I'm honored to be up here um, today representing our RN to BSN class. Um, when I got the news that my classmates had nominated me, uh, me to give this speech, uh, I immediately panicked. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was at work at the time, and uh, I was telling one of my patients about it. She told me, just picture all the audience in polka dotted underwear. <laughs> It's not working. <laughs> of, of course, as soon as I got the chance, uh, I called my mom. <laughs> she, as always, told me I'd do great. It was such an honor. And um, slowly, my nerves began to fade um, until now. <laughs> uh, speaking of my mom, uh, I think this would be a good time to uh, say thank you to all the people who have supported us through the years. Um, parents, spouses, significant others, uh, family, friends telling you now that uh, none of this would have been possible without your unwavering support throughout the years. And uh, for some of us are into BSN students, I know it's been many years. Um, it's almost become comical at this point for me. <laughs> so at this point, I'd like to share a quote from uh, the 1995 film Tommy Boy. Uh, <laughs> after returning home from many years of college, Tommy defends himself saying, you know, a lot of people go to school for seven years. And Richard replies, I know, they're called doctors. <laughs> we may not be doctors, uh, but if this program's taught me anything, it's the professionalism that nurses have and the power and influence we have on healthcare as a whole. This program has taught us how to effectively advocate for our patients. It has taught us about the importance of collaboration and communication among multiple disciplines. Um, this program has taught us how to be effective leaders and followers. Healthcare is a complex machine that's ever changing, but perhaps now more than ever. Uh, nurses play a key role in that change because we're on the front lines every day providing direct patient care. It takes communication, knowledge, and an understanding of healthcare systems to provide high quality, safe, patient centered care. Following graduation from this RN to BSN program, <clears throat> we are <laughs> armed with the knowledge of healthcare systems and the importance of continually striving for excellence. We are the generation of nurses that can lead change that is coming about in healthcare, leading to higher patient safety and improved patient outcomes. I have already seen the benefits of being in this program. My job on the surgical specialty unit at the University of Iowa Hospital um, was contingent on earning my bachelor's degree. Every day I get the opportunity to work alongside some of the best nurses and physicians in the country. At this point, I plan to continue to 
uh, work at the University of Iowa Hospital, increase my clinical knowledge, and become the best nurse I can be. And that's the great thing about nursing, is there's so many different directions we can all go. Um, and graduating from this program has laid the foundation for uh, endless opportunities. Congratulations to my fellow classmates. Our hard work, sleep deprivation, and hundreds of discussion posts paid off. Thank you, and go Hawks. Thank you, Jesse. We are pleased to have with us for the conferring of degrees, Vice President of the University, Tom Rocklin. Dr. Rocklin was appointed Vice President for Student Life at the University of Iowa in October of 2014. Correction, that was October of 2010. In, his, in this role, he is responsible for fostering student success by creating and promoting inclusive, educationally, educationally purposeful services and activities within and beyond the classroom. He earned an AB degree in psychology from UC Berkeley and an MS and PhD degrees in psychology at Northwestern University. He joined the faculty of the University of Iowa College of Education in 1986 and was the founding director of the Center for Teaching. His current program of research examines the role of test anxiety in computerized adaptive testing. Please join me in welcoming Vice President Rockland. Thank you, Dean Franz. Good morning. Welcome graduates, other University of Iowa students, my faculty and staff colleagues, family and friends, and honored guests to this spring 2016 College of Nursing commencement exercises. Today is a joyful day as we acknowledge and honor the accomplishments of the newest members of a distinguished group, alumni of the University of Iowa. Graduates, the last time I stood before many of you was at the convocation ceremony on the Pentecrest lawn on the day before your first day of classes at the University of Iowa. I told you that during your time here, you were going to develop skills and knowledge you might not even have been able to imagine. I told you that some of you would be prepared to solve complex technical problems essential to the well-being of the people of the planet. I told you that some of you would have traveled abroad and studied one or more languages in such depth that you would be prepared to address global issues of enormous complexity. I told you that others of you would have participated with a faculty mentor in groundbreaking research published in prestigious journals. And I told you that some of you would be prepared to start a graduate or professional school on your way eventually to perhaps becoming professors yourselves. And now, all of that has happened. You have worked hard, and with the help of many, have met the challenges that have come before you. I'd like to add my thanks at this time to all of your family members, friends, the faculty members, the staff, and the others who helped you along the way. Now think back with me to that day on the Pentecrest lawn before your first University of Iowa class. You were about to become a new kind of person, a college student. And some, I dare say most of you, wondered if you had what it took to succeed as that kind of person. As I told you that afternoon, we had complete confidence in you, and you have more than justified our confidence. Now you stand on a new threshold. You will leave this ceremony once again a new kind of person. You will be a university graduate. Not just any university graduate, but a graduate of the University of Iowa College of Nursing. And once again, we have complete confidence in you. 
You are the future of your communities, your countries, and the world. Along with the pride you take in your accomplishment today, you take on a responsibility. People will rightly look to you to put all that you have learned here to work to make their lives better and to make the world a better place. Some of you will become famous for the ways you make the world a better place. Many of you will make your contributions in smaller, quieter, but ultimately just as important ways. And that is my charge to you today. In ways large and small, use what you have learned at the University of Iowa to build a better world. As you step forth, we applaud the hard work that has brought you this far and look forward to the many ways you, the newest members of the worldwide network of the University of Iowa graduates, will make your communities, your countries, and the world better places for all of us. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Vice President Rockland. Will the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing please rise? Vice President Rockland, these candidates, having completed all the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing, are recommended to you by the faculty of the College of Nursing for the conferring of this degree. On the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Nursing and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, State of Iowa, I confer on each of you the degree Bachelor of Science in Nursing as qualified and designated. The turning of the tassel is the tradition of gesture by which each student signifies passage from degree candidate to graduate. Now, before we recognize each of you individually as graduates of the University of Iowa College of Nursing, please move the tassel on, the, on your cap from the right side to the left. Will the graduates please be seated? Okay. It is now my pleasure to invite the graduates to be individually recognized. If the Bachelor of Science recipients Bachelor of Science in Nursing recipients would please come forward to receive their formal recognition. If the first row would rise and come forward now, please. Thank you. Ellen Penningroth, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Alex Brown, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. Nicole Kalupek, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Sarah Peterson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Julia Shade, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. <laughs> Alexandra Rosauer, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Bruce
Brittany Smith, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Danielle Busta, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Courtney Davis, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Catherine Hurahan, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing and with high distinction. <laughs> Maeve McDonald, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Madison Page Sloan, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Alexandra Bacham, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Amy Zach, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Hallie Warren, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. <laughs> Nina LaRoe, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. <laughs> Savannah Lee Book, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. Julie Barker, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. <laughs> Emily Madison, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Jessica Leonard, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Genevieve Decker, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Estefania Valdebrezo, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Jacqueline Bannon, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Emma Buckley, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing with High Distinction. Caitlin Patnod, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. <laughs> Elizabeth Field, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. <laughs> Kelly Edwards, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with High Distinction. <laughs> Allie Taylor Clark, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Alana Solomon, Bachelor of Science in Nursing.
Dora Aylin, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Abby Swanson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with honors in nursing, with high distinction. <laughs> Caitlin Grotwald, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with honors in nursing, with high distinction. <laughs> Nicole Gleisner, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Amber Gonzowski, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Distinction. Ellie Driesen, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Dana Lehman, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Annie Starakovich, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Kelly Grigorovich, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Ann Parker, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with honors in nursing. <laughs> Haley Andrews, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with distinction. <laughs> Carolyn Clarton. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with honors in nursing, with distinction. Bobby Fischels, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Agnushka Sabata, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Xi Jin Yi, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Emily Swanson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Carly Ryan, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Distinction. Lauren Cummings, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Brooke Lichty, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Grace Rafferty, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Rhea Veal, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Stephanie Soldner, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Hannah Lassis, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with honors in nursing, with highest distinction. <laughs> Jesse Johnson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Jesse Sorensen, Bachelor of Science in Nursing.
Laura Simper Newman, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Casey Mitchell, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with High Distinction. Jill Stoll, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Elise Berezowski, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Highest Distinction. Sarah Hellam, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Brianna Palmy, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Aaron Schweda, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Tessa Abraham Walls, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. <laughs> Rachel Fricke, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. <laughs> Allison Fisher, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Kerrigan Thompson, Bachelor of, of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Audrey Anna Binder, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing with High Distinction. <laughs> Rebecca Cohen, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing. Claire Sullivan, Bachelor of Science in Nursing with Honors in Nursing with High Distinction. Adrian Faye yeah, I'm sorry, Adrian. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Kyle Gakey, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Jeffrey Artrioli, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> Sawyer Henderson, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <laughs> if you would now please join me in offering our heartiest congratulations to our newest graduates, class of 2016. This weekend, you will leave the College of Nursing and start new roles 
in the profession of nursing. Start out aiming high. Along with the faculty, I have great hopes for you, our newest graduates. I hope you find true meaning, contentment, and passion in your life. I hope that you navigate the hard times and you come out with greater strength and resolve. I hope that whatever balance you seek, you find it with your eyes wide open. And I hope that you will have the ambition to take charge of our healthcare world because it, ne it desperately needs you to transform it. Now I know this is a big challenge and a really daunting task, but you can do it. And know we will be watching and cheering you on. Congratulations and best wishes to all of our May 2016 College of Nursing graduates. The Marshal will please come forward to lead the processional. Will the graduates please rise for the recessional? And will the audience please remain seated until the graduates, the faculty representatives, and the platform party have, ex have exited? <laughs> 